What's going on guys? This is Matt Full Tilt Bullies. Hope everybody's having a good one. Uh so oh, what you doing, Miss Mama? What are you doing, Bobo? Uh huh. She's a pretty girl. But again, hope everybody's having a good one. Uh I had the day off work. I've been working like crazy, but I had the day off today. So uh we've been out here blowing leaves and pressure washing and cleaning these boys and girls up. Uh, clipping nails, cleaning ears, just the whole whole nine. All my breeders, well, really everybody, y'all know the routine. I'm even y'all peep, just pet owners. Uh, you got to do it. I just have to do it times like ten, twelve. But uh, yeah, we're just out here hanging out. Uh, Miss Bo's running, eat, running around. Diamonds down here acting crazy. Uh, I got a good video. I'm gonna put up uh, maybe like in one of the little shorts or something like that, but. Man, that girl is crazy. Look at her pulling on her fence. Would you cut it out, Diamond? He's just trying to uh, rest. But, again, just out here getting some stuff done. Figured I'd get y'all a video. It's been three, four weeks. And uh, I tell you, man, it's I'm, I'm working like crazy. So, time flies. Uh, but we did a few breedings, hopefully. I should know here. In the next couple weeks, if uh, who took, who didn't, this dude dropped a ton of weight just because he was bred to two girls. No, three actually because I bred him to uh, my mother's dog um, that that we went in half and half on a, a beautiful girl, Miss Nova. Uh, and I'll have y'all some footage of her soon. But he bred to her and then to uh, Rue. And then to Bo uh, again. And then we bred Nero to Miss Opal. Really hope that one takes. But not sure who took or who didn't take yet. Uh, so, but back to him. He, uh, he, man, he, a lot of times when, when you're doing uh, breeding a male, they, they, they'll lose weight. Uh, and he, he did drop down a little bit, but he, it won't take him long to pick it up. He just, they just don't eat quite as much usually. But again, I'm sure he'll pick it up. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing, Blue? Uh huh? Y'all want to get out and run? We will. We're about to run y'all here shortly. But, uh, yeah, we're just hanging out. I don't know if y'all can see that smoke. Somebody's burning brush or leaves or something across the hill there. But, uh, yeah, that's, like I said, guys, it's, man, this is just, a, you know, same old same. Hanging out and Running around doing, doing dog stuff. What are you doing, Scarlet? What are you doing, girl? And she's going to be something else. And as y'all know, I got, uh, or not I got, but Brandon uh, purchased the blue girl, her sister. Uh, she's up there. She's looking great as well. Uh, and I'll be getting, we'll be getting some uh, footage of his yard up there soon again we just been working like crazy but y'all see it man nothing special going on everybody just hanging out this crazy girl right here right here uh last video i seen uh and i'll be honest with you it was really only one comment and it wasn't like all that negative um it was just kind of pointing out the what i had already said uh and high rears are not like a huge trait in on my yard but there is you know a couple of them out here and diamonds is the worst one so far but she's still young uh i'm really hoping she's going to grow out of hers at least to the point of like blue uh or penny you know where it's not like crazy high uh but as i've said you know plenty of times my, my price ranges are between like 2000 and 3500 35 is going to be no, that's even that's gonna be rare it's usually around 2500 a pup uh which is an awesome deal for them i'm not claiming to be you know putting out grand champions or nothing they're they're awesome quality dogs in my opinion um for a really good price so let me look at that girl right there and i could like her her rear looks you know, a little high there, but you look how she's standing. I could stack her up and, and probably show her just fine. 
uh, you know, her stacked up nicely. You wouldn't even be able to tell, but her just kind of freestanding or running around on a yard, especially my yard, it's kind of on a slope. It's all, it's downhill. Even you can notice here, I, hopefully you can in the video where it kind of slopes down. My whole yard's like that and, and worse than that. But uh, that's also gonna give the appearance, but you know, it's, it's just part of it. I think with, especially with the bullies, um, you're going to have some, I try to really steer away from, uh, you know, a high, a little bit of a high rear hitting, like I said, the end of the world, in my opinion. Now, when you get into like super bad underbites or easty westy real bad, then, then that's a little bit different. Um, but you know, slightly high rear for these, you know, big dogs like this, you know, it's, it's just going to be part of it from time to time but i'm uh i guess i'm gonna cut it here guys uh again i'll keep y'all up to date uh on these puppies that's coming and uh kind of show y'all what we're doing again we're just hanging out they'll hit the yard here shortly run all their energy out um we got a, a temperature spike it, it had it did get really cold uh and then we got again the temp went back up but we still been keeping them in the building uh out here keep them fresh bedding because it's normally it's been you know chilly during the day um so keep them fresh bed he rolls and terrorizes his house blue does the same thing uh miss scarlet probably gonna get her a house soon uh everybody else does really good though but that's why they don't have dog house i just took his out today because he's just it's non-stop i'm surprised he's not fighting his bowl right now but Again, we, uh, we'll keep y'all posted and go from there. Till next time.